All right, guys, it's Monday morning, uh, about 7.45 a.m., and uh, we got some rain last night, and uh, I think we're all right to mow. It's not too wet. Ground was pretty uh, pretty soft to begin with. There's my dog. I scared him. But uh, these are some of the decisions that uh, lawn care owners have to make. You know, are you going to cut in the rain? Is it too wet to mow? Is it not too wet to mow? Yeah, see right now it's just kind of misting. Uh, I don't think it really rained hard all night. It's just been kind of a steady mist. So I think it's just a little wet, no big deal. Uh, we're gonna go try it out. All right guys, uh, so we're gonna go mow and uh, it's time for me to load up the equipment. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt, something you gotta do every day, load it, unload it. But that's lawn care life, that's the way it goes. So we're gonna load up some mowers and uh, go see what we can get done. out to mow got the handy dandy notebook tells us what to mow nothing's in there because I'm just going by memory right now uh, necessities that we need GoPro chargers uh, GoPro camera headphones that's what we need right yep yeah those are the necessities and other than that, you know, of course you gotta have your mowers and stuff, but that's all secondary. You gotta have camera first now, nowadays. It's kind of the way to go. It's that that looks like it's pointing like right there. It's not. It's got you. <laughs> Alright, so here's one we got today. Start off by picking up some trash. Tell it. It needs some mowing. Okay, so most of the yards I did this week, it was the first cut. And uh, here, like I said, it was a little wet. Not too bad at all though. Uh, we haven't hardly gotten any rain where I'm at. So uh, the ground was still pretty, pretty, pretty dry. Uh, the drizzle was just kind of laying on top, no big deal. And, uh, you know, when you're doing these first cuts of the year, one of the things you're going to have to contend with is a lot of trash pickup, uh, especially where I'm at, where it's really, really windy. Uh, the trash just blows everywhere. And, uh, you know, most people just don't pick it up. So uh, I, I had to deal with that a lot this week, a lot of picking up trash. All right, guys, one thing I wanted to talk about real quick is April is Autism Awareness Month. And this is something that affects my my family, something that affects my sons, and uh, it's something I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really passionate about. I got asked the question one time because I brought up Autism Awareness Month and somebody asked me, said, well, what, I mean, what, what's it for? Well, what am I supposed to be aware of? And I, I believe what it's for is to make people aware of the disease that's going on and kind of educate yourself a little bit because the stats show that most people will be affected by this somewhere or another in their life and that way if if somebody you know has autism you kind of understand it a little bit better and you can help them out a little bit better and you just you just understand what's going on more and therefore it helps that person out 
So keep that in mind and uh, let's have a good month. All right, I already had an interesting morning. First property, see the Gravely, the belt slipped off the Gravely. Uh, blades wouldn't turn. Uh, still trimmer wouldn't start. And I've had to go to the bathroom twice. Two times. Two times. And uh, luckily we were by a quit trip. But yeah, the weed eater, uh, we had problems with that one last year whenever it got wet. Yeah. Tends uh, to not like water too much. Tends to not like water. So I think it got a little wet. But uh, actually, what got it started is I took a spark plug out, cleaned it up. It was a little gunked up down there. And. Uh, Clean that up, and then it started up. So that could have been the problem. But I also took the uh, blower. I took the housing off the uh, off the weed eater and took the blower and dried it all up and stuff. All right, guys, bidding on a bidding on this house here. It's pretty wide open. Not too shabby. Room over there. Double gate, get the 48 back here. And the front's pretty, pretty simple. Well, that's easy. All right, guys, just put a bid in on a house. I got it. Uh, pretty excited, it's a pretty easy house, and it's uh, pretty close by where I live. I was gassing up this morning and he was on the pump just uh, you know right across from me and asked me if I'd go give him a bid. Alright guys, Tuesday around 11 o'clock, I uh, got a lot to do, pretty busy today. Uh, flying solo again today, Hunter hurt himself the other day so he's out of commission. Not sure for how long, his, uh, his man parts are sore. Uh, not really sure what's going on with that. He's going to the doctor today, but I'm sure we'll get an update soon. So, flying solo and uh, got a lot to do. All right, guys, here's another yard that I mow. Uh, this one here is uh, it's four, it's basically four buildings, they're rental properties. Uh, so, there's kind of a lot to mow, a lot to weed eat, but. Uh, you know, it's not not too bad. There used to be uh, fences. All those uh, fences right there used to extend out, and each each person had their own little backyard. Uh, it's actually a lot easier now that they uh, took all those out and regraded it and put some seed down. You can see up around the patios where I where I'm weeding at. Uh, it's it's uh, really thick grass, but pretty much everywhere else, it's just. Uh, you know, it's not growing that much. Uh, it is in spots, but not very well. A lot of a lot of weeds. And just uh, you know, it's a it's a yard that you don't really you don't really have to worry about striping. You don't have to worry about anything else. Just uh, do a, do a good job weed eating. Do, do a good job mowing, and uh, make sure everything gets cut. And that's about all you need to need to do. Uh, as you can see uh, here, I'm just going in a big circle. 
I'm not even trying to stripe, not even trying to uh, do any kind of design or anything like that. I just want to get this property done as quick as possible. And I'm going in a big circle because I don't want to throw any of those gumballs and up, up at any of the houses towards the windows. Uh, it's all open area out there on the other side, so I'm just blowing them that way. So that works out pretty well. All right, guys, it's Wednesday around noon. Uh, got a few more things to do today, then I'll be done. Uh, this week's going pretty smooth, actually, even though I'm by myself. Uh, some of the stuff I did last week, uh, it's just not growing, growing enough to be able to cut this week, so uh, it's working out pretty good. So uh, I was weeding in this house I was just doing, and uh, I hit with a rock right here in my lip. I don't even know if you can, yeah, you can see a little mark right there. But uh, man, that thing hurt, hurt bad. And it's funny because uh, I could, it was almost like it happened in slow mo because I could see it flying up and I was like, but it's going too fast, you can't move. Uh, I think uh, I think music is one of the most important things. Uh, obviously, it's not going to help you cut, it's not going to cut the grass or anything like that, but music actually gets me in a really, really good mood and gets me in a groove, especially when, you know, I'll put, I, I use my phone and I'll put it on shuffle and I got like uh, 500 something songs on here and uh, and sometimes the the ones that just pop out are just kind of perfect you know uh it's kind of like the ipod knows knows what you want to hear at that point point. and uh anyway it just kind of gets you in a groove uh, especially when you're doing bigger properties where you're weed eating for like an hour or two or you're on a mower for an hour or two hours or whatever it just kind of gets you in that little little groove that i like to i like to get in every once in a while so I want to kind of show you guys what I listen to. Just kind of do a uh, run through of some of the songs, dude. I listen to all kinds of stuff. I mean, I got anything from uh, Ice Cube on here from the 80s and 90s to, uh, yes, I do have some Justin Bieber and Taylor Swift. I got kids, but I like the songs too. Uh, I listen to all kinds of stuff, guys. I got country, rock, rap. I got everything on here. And like, I'll be listening to music and you know, like I said, I just have it on shuffle. So, uh, one minute I'll be listening to like Taylor Swift, then it'd go to Snoop Dogg or something, and then back to uh, like uh, just whatever, like Queen or something. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. So, I was gonna kind of show you guys a little bit. Uh, I think I'm gonna start doing this every once or twice a week. I'm just gonna show you the last five songs that I've listened to. So, like, it's on pause right now, and I'll just kind of go back five songs and uh, see what you guys see what you guys think. All right, well, there's a good one, I think. I really love this song. <laughs> Some of you guys are like, "What in the hell?" Let's go back one. Uh, a little Eminem headlight, good one. Encore. I got a lot of Eminem, so. Uh, sometimes I'll get a couple in a row on a shuffle. There's some Ice Cube. Kenny Rogers, baby. TLC. Uh, a little Coolio. Yeah. So, like I said, you know, I got all kinds of stuff on here. Uh, I think it's kind of funny. Uh, I'll probably show you guys uh, once a week on the weekend review kind of what I'm jamming to and you guys will get a kick out of it, I'm pretty sure. And a lot of you younger guys probably won't even know half of this stuff, but uh, it's fun. All right, guys, real quick. Uh, Brandon uh, Faisenbaker, I think his last name is. Forgive me if I pronounce it wrong. Uh, he's wanting to know uh, how to trim around siding uh, without, without tearing it up. And to be honest with you, it's really not, there's no big secret, there's no big, uh, do this and you're gonna you'll you'll get it right every time uh, The only thing I try to do is I try to go real slow. I try to be real careful and I try to just barely get my trimmer Line just barely where it's touching the grass. You don't want to you know most time when, when people mess those up They jam it into the siding and that just tears it up So just go real slow Try to barely get your trimmer line just right on the edge uh, where you're getting the grass and that's that's all you need to do and it takes a little bit of practice But if you just take your time Like I said, you know, what I do is I kind of start start back a little bit and I'll kind of inch my way forward 
a little bit and I'll once I see the grass cut I'll back off you know uh, that's how that's how I learned how to do it and uh, like I said just take your time and do it right Alright guys, one thing I forgot to mention on uh, weed eating around siding and uh, trailer homes, uh, mobile homes that have that skirting, uh, it's real, uh, I mean you can tear that up real easy. Uh, one thing, I, another thing I do, I didn't even realize that I do, is I don't run my weed eater at full throttle. I just kind of hit it a little bit and just kind of, but like I said, just go slow and get, you know, just try to get your edge right there. And that don't jam into it and you should be okay uh, and I know I don't have my glasses on I've lost my glasses I can't find them and I just realized it when I pulled up that I didn't have them and you gotta do what you gotta do so uh, it's getting ready to storm it's Wednesday uh, by the time you guys watch this you'll there's tornadoes probably gonna happen all throughout the Midwest and uh, they're predicting that anyway so uh, so anyway, I wanted to, I have to hurry up and get done, get home before I get rained on. So you do what you gotta do to get by.